G'day folks, well it's a midweek and I've got a day off work. Jordan and I have hit a creek, even though it's good weather we're still up the creek today because this particular creek we haven't fished in quite a long time, I've forgotten just how good it was. We were down mucking around at the bridge and we thought mm, give it a shot, we've come up here. So we'll, uh, we're, it's got a running tide so what we've done, we've come down to the end of the creek, end of the structure and we're going to go up against the flow of the tide because the electric and the boats way easier to manoeuvre around when you're, you're against the flow of the tide. It'll keep a nose forward and uh, it, we can go as slow as we want or as quick as we want this way. So we'll fish this shallow structure for brim and uh, see how we go. George just caught a crab pot. You were up using colours. The colours we're using, I'm trying a couple of different colours. I'm starting with the motor oil. That's it there. Just on hidden weights. So a nice slow slow sink we're only in about 400 mil of water where we're casting so it doesn't matter that it goes nice and slow and most of the time the brim are, are nice and high on this structure so you need it to go slow So when you're skimming baits, if you have it about a foot or less, you'll find the control is way better. So you want to skim it into there and you want it to hit and just sink straight down beside the, the, um, the actual pontoon. So from here, as I'm looking at the pontoon, I'll skim it across on an angle, back to the pontoon. It hits and just drifts down, let a bit of line out and it wafts underneath the pontoon now. A couple little flicks make it work near the pontoon once it gets away and you haven't had a hit roll it back in and give it another shot so I want to skim it into this pontoon here I've only got about three or four inches of of line from the tip of my rod across the bottom of the water and you can see it went right up the side of the pontoon so work it slowly Plastic's not on properly. So you can see there, that's about, I don't know, five or six inches maybe from the tip of my rod. So anything from around that four inch mark up to about a foot. And you've got a lot better control over it. You can see the pontoon back here that we're aiming at. Skim across, hits the pontoon and then sinks slowly underneath the pontoon. You don't touch your line until you know that it's started sinking. You give the tiniest twitches. It's a good broom, this one. There's a net. I've only got a four pound leader. Beautiful. Another one just like yours, I think.
Yeah, they're all the way down in the structure, and we'll do it again after we finish the structure. That's very similar to that. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost twins. Hang on, mate. Zoom in two and a half inch slim swim. That's some teeth. That's some pretty awesome teeth. Oh, yours is way bigger than mine. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> So that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Hit the like button for me, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.